Hi everybody, I am Dr. Rios from the Monoclonal Gammopathies Unit, University Hospital Virgen de las Nieves, Granada, Spain. This video is intended to summarize and emphasize the key issues from the paper Pomalidomide in the Treatment of Multiple Myeloma, Design, Development and Placing Therapy. A review published at that design, development and therapy by Dove Press. Multiple myeloma is a complex and heterogeneous plasma cell malignancy. In recent years, a remarkable progress in the understanding of its pathogenesis has allowed the use of new drugs, which have dramatically changed the outcome in terms of overall survival and quality of life. The treatment of multiple myeloma is in continuous evolution, in particular from the first decade of this century. Only in 2015, four new drugs were approved by FDA for multiple myeloma. Pomalidomide is a third generation immunomodulatory drug that shares the main mechanisms of action with thalidomide and lenalidomide. However, pomalidomide has shown more antiproliferative activity, more TANK activation, as well as Treg suppression. Pomalidomide was approved for relapsing and refractory multiple myeloma by the FDA in February 2013 for patients with two prior lines of therapy, including bortezomib and lenalidomide, with the support of a phase two study by Dr. Richardson, comparing pomalidomide and low-dose dexamethasone with pomalidomide in monotherapy. The experimental arm achieved a significantly higher overall response rate, 33%, and a higher median progression-free survival. 4.2 months. At the same time, a phase 3 study by Dr. Jesus San Miguel comparing pomalidomide low dose dexamethasone versus high dose dexamethasone also showed for the experimental arm a significantly higher PFS and OS after adjusting for the crossover design. Furthermore, several sub-analyses of this study showed a significant improvement in quality of life and extended benefit for patients with high-risk disease and the confirmation of safety in patients with severe renal failure. To further improve the results of the doublet, pomalidomide and low-dose dexamethasone, according to the recently published guidelines by the European Society for Medical Oncology, at second or subsequent relapse, a triplet is recommended, adding cyclophosphamide, bortezomib, Ixazomid, daratumumab, or elotuzumab. Other triplets or even four drug combinations are being tested in early phases of clinical development. Nowadays, pomalidomide, cyclophosphamide, and low dose dexamethasone is considered a standard of care for relapsing and refractory multiple myeloma patients, 
showing an overall response rate higher than 60% and a PFS of around 10 months without increasing toxicity. In Spain, the Spanish group of myeloma is exploring if the addition of claritromycin in a four drug all oral regimen is able to improve the results. The clinical development of pomalidomide is still ongoing, with several trials evaluating new pomalidomide based combinations, trying to improve the outcome of relapsing and refractory multiple myeloma patients in the near coming years. Thank you.